Gavin Carr, and I'm going to be walking you through the high school and finishing up my seventh grade year, so I know quite a bit about it. So this is the office where you can find help. There's the nurse way in the back. Um, Miss Keith um, is at this front desk, and my mom, uh, Mrs. Carr, is down at the other end. So if we come down here, there is a cafeteria to your left and a gym to the right. When you come to the cafeteria, you're, you will get your food over there, and there will be tables with TVs all around here and here. Then, over here is the gym. It is a medium-sized gym. It has six basketball hoops. So here is the weight room. Uh, there's people inside it right now. You can exercise, there's lots of equipment. And over there, that dark hallway, the door, um, has the boys' locker rooms. And that's one of the exits. Then, if you come down here, on the right is the trainer's room. Uh, you can come to him to get help if you need any help with injuries. Then right here is the wrestling room. Uh, it's where wrestlers go. Sometimes in gym you'll play dodgeball here. And right here is the women's locker room and the gym entrance we came in. Okay, so now down there is where we came in, the entryway. Also down there is all the stuff that we just showed you. To the other way, there's a bathroom and we'll show you that there's health down there and not much else. Then we come down here, opposite from the entryway. And straight ahead is the multi-purpose weekend. We'll explain that in a second. This is a second uh, entrance to the wrestling room. And there are two bathrooms right here as well as a fountain and an exit. And oh, if we go to the multi-purpose room, and now we come down this giant hallway that again leads to the workshop. Personally, my favorite part of the place, even though I've never really worked in there, but I can't wait to. The first door on the left, to the right is just a bunch of windows in the yard. To the left, there's the choir room, led by Mr. Simpson. Mr. Simpson. And here's the second door to the choir room. There's a random water fountain. Right here is the first door to the band room. There's lots of instruments. You guys who are in band will really enjoy the instruments. Here's the second door to the band room, the main door. This is where you'll most likely go in and out of. This last door before the workshop is Tris's room. She has many animals. She has a few guinea pigs and uh, my personal favorite bunny. There's the workshop, there's a lot of cool equipment in there. And then down here, just a cool little glass hallway that leads to the link. The link is basically a library that also has a bunch of seating. Uh, it's very comfortable, it's a quiet place, often has music and like live animal streams. everyone, we just came from the Ag Band and Choir Hallway, and we're at another corner here, and here's the link, here's another hallway, Mr. Harstead, your math teacher. Now, Hello, how are we doing? Good. Good to see you. <laughs> now, next year. we follow yep. Mr. Harstead, this is our junior high hallway, we have all, all of your core classes, all of your morning classes will take part here. Here's Mr. Volker's room, he's a high school English teacher, you guys won't have him next year but you'll probably have them around ninth grade. Here is Mr. Becker's room, second door on the left. He's your social studies teacher. Keep moving this way. We've got English and math classrooms in the back corner. There's also a bathroom right here and right around the corner. And we have science classroom right here. This is your junior high science classroom. We keep making our way down the hallway. On the right, 
right here, we have four rooms, which is for big events or pets you might have. And here's the form room, very big. You often take pets in here. You maybe watch a movie in It's also too. the tornado shelter, right? Yes, that as well. All right. As we make our way out of the four room, we have another door, the science classroom. This is your explore science class that you guys will have in seventh grade with Mrs. Hansen. It's very similar, if not identical, to the junior high science room. We do a lot more unique things in that class. So we continue down the hallway here. On the right, we have another we have a study hall room. This one typically takes place in Miss Hansen. Down there, that first door right there is another study hall room. You can tell there's a lot of exits in this building, just in case students want to run away. And now we make our way to the art room with Miss Potter. You guys probably had her at one Hey guys! Time. Hello! I can't wait to see you again! Hey guys, we're back and we're, this is the opposite room from the length. So if you look down on the other side, you can almost barely see Miss Chris's room way down there. As we make our way down the hallway, there's some other seating options. A lot of high school room, high classrooms. School Most of these classrooms are high school. This is Mr. Moody's room. And on the right here, we have Mr. Lee's room. So you guys will have reading enrichment and math enrichment with him. This is a very fun class. I actually really like this class. This is Ms. Olson's classroom, another high school teacher. And this is one of my favorite classes. This is Senior's class. You, you'll take world language with him next year, and one, it's probably my favorite class I took. Super fun, mix, super fun, super entertaining, all that jazz. And now, as we finish this all the way up, we have the counselor's office on the left here. If you ever need anything, check in with them. They'll always be looking for you. And as we finish here, we make our way back to the office, back to where we started. Just so, remember, the high school is a giant square. Um, if you ever get lost and you're not by the band room, then just take four rights and you'll get somewhere. If you guys ever need anything, it's super easy. Anyone here will help you, and it's super fun.